and welcome to my video. I will introduce you this friend of mine today. The name of my friend is Omega Seamaster Chronograph in a box. This is the brand which I will introduce you. Let's see what we got in a box. In a box we got a book with name operating instructions. Oh. And uh, what's this? Worldwide service warrant card. Let's get to the watch. This is the watch. The full name of this friend of mine is Omega Seamaster Chronograph Professional Chronometer Diver Watch with reference number 1780522. This watch is made in year 2008. It's a 42 millimeters model. It has a blue dial applied with eight luminous dot markers. Luminous skeleton hands, centric chronograph hand and subsidiary dials. By pressing this button here, I will start the chronograph mode. Uh, actually, the chronograph mode working at the moment. So if I press this button, I will stop the chronograph mode like this. And I will reset it by pressing this button here. So the chronograph now is reset. So let's start over. By pressing this button, I will activate the chronograph mode like this. This watch can count 60 seconds, 30 minutes and 12 hours. The watch counts 60 seconds with this with this uh, big centric chronograph hand count 30 minutes with a small top dial and 12 hours with the bottom dial also this watch has a escape helium valve this can be used when diving once get up, you need to unscrew it like this and screw it back down. Also, this watch has a blue bezel, a rotating blue bezel with Arabic numerals and 10 minutes division. The watch has a screw down crown. This means that it if you want to set the hands, you need to unscrew the crown, pull the crown twice, like this, one, two, and now I'm able to set the hands. So the time now is 11.00. Half 11. Half 11, so it's just here. Uh, if you want to set the date, you need to pull the crown once, like this, and spinning up. If you're spinning down, nothing happened. Spinning up, and you are able to set the date. 
but I need to move the hands first. If they are here, the movement not allowed to set the date. So now, yes, if you spin it up, the date moves down, nothing happened. The date today is 28th of January. So 28th of January, it's here. Push back and screw back down the crown. The bracelet of the watch is stainless steel with Omega logo on it. Can be opened like this by pressing same time two buttons here. If you press one of them, nothing happened. Have to press two at the same time. And also it's a folding clasp here. If you are not able to pass your wrist, you can open it like this and close it back. Next thing I'm going to show you is the movement of the watch. But first I have to remove the bracelet. So I'm going to remove the bracelet. Just remove the bracelet. This side here. This symbol is hippocampus. Hippocampus is... Uh, very old symbol. It's known since the Roman period 2000 years ago and this symbol represents a horse walk on water. I left the back loose so I'm able to un unscrew it now to show you the movement. Let's see what we got here. Uh, the reference number of the watch, 1780522. And some of there is um, Omega inscriptions. We got anti-magnetic cup here. This thing prevents uh, the movement from magnetizing. So we're going to remove it, just like this. And this is the movement of the watch. This movement is Omega Caliber 1164. But there is also other name of this movement. The other name of the movement is Eta 7750 or Valux 7750 or Valjux. Valjux, Valux, I'm not sure how it's right, but it uh, doesn't matter. It's a very popular movement. Many popular brands using this movement for their chronograph watches like uh, Longin, Breitling, Omega and many, many other. Actually, this movement is very old. I think this movement uh, for first time has been introduced 45 50 years ago and very uh, very strong and very very solid movement and probably this is the reason that they still they still doing this movement of course with uh, some improvements on it but the main line is is still still the same this movement is a self-winding with 25 joules, ball bearing rotor. It moves with 28,800 beats per hour and it has a 44 hours power reserve. And it has a one winding direction. I'm gonna show you this. This thing here, the rotor, winding the mainspring. So if I move the rotor this way, 
it moves freely. If I move the rotor other way, it's winding the mainspring. It's visible by this small wheel here. It moves. The small wheel, just, just here, it moves if I'm moving the rotor that way. It doesn't move other way. So this, this way, it just moves freely. Very solid and very nice movement. I'm gonna try to show you the movement on a different angle. So that's it for this watch and that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Of course, if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you again and see you next time. Bye bye.